Hey there, today I'm showing you how to paint these two colorful birds with watercolors. So the first step for me was to basically get down the basic shapes and to sketch those birds. And I just tried to get down roughly where the different colors and shapes are going to be by looking at the reference picture. And I didn't really obsess over making it perfect or making it look super realistic, but the reference pictures really helped to get this basic shape down there and to just um, know where the colors are going to be and the sketch really helped me later on to find where I'm gonna put the colors because it's just easier when you have a sketch and start off with that. But I took a kneaded eraser to lighten those sketches so that those wouldn't show up as much because once you paint over it with watercolors it's really hard to erase the sketches and therefore I lightened it up with a kneaded eraser which is a bit harder for you to see now but it's I could see it and it was just way easier that way then I began laying down the colors and I was very loose with that I was using quite a big brush here I was using the da Vinci Casaneo brush in a size 2 I'm gonna link that with it's in my art supplies kit and it's always linked in my description box so if you want to check that out out. I really recommend that brush but it's quite expensive but it's my absolute favorite brush I use it for absolutely everything and here you can see that I started with the face of the bird and I just made sure to leave out the eye here to, so because that's a different color I think I think I just left it white because I liked it like that I was just very loosely basing it off of the reference picture but not really 1000% obsessing over it I was just I wanted this very loose watercolor style and I also did let the paints run a bit into each other. You can see that the yellow, orange and red tones bled into each other a little bit which was totally on purpose and here you can see that the blue and the brown tones bled into each other a little bit as well and I just made sure that it wouldn't bleed too much with the yellow and red tones so that I wouldn't get a green here and I let the colors dry on the head so that I could do the green part on the forehead and then I did this blue part so whenever you want the colors to be to have a sharp edge you have to do wet on dry and when you want to blend them together a little bit you can just use them when the paint underneath isn't dry yet so I was just switching back and forth those two techniques depending on what kind of effect that I wanted you can see here that I painted those black details on top of the blue while it wasn't dry yet because I wanted it to look not look too sharp here and then I did this wire or fence or whatever this bird is sitting on and started off with the beak and I used a smaller brush for that one because it's such a fine detail and it was just easier that way. This is a brush that I get at a local store so I'm not sure if you can find it where you are but I just recommend trying out different brushes. Sometimes the cheaper ones are really good as well and this one is a really cheap brush so I did some little details on the bird here when the paint was already dry so you can see that those details are a bit sharper not they don't bleed into the paint and yeah I just went back and forth with those two techniques and I didn't add too many details because I wanted it to look really illustrative and have this painterly effect and then I started painting the uh, the other bird and I started off with a very bright green tone 
and uh, I just started off with a very watered down version and then I added in more and more pigment and I just added a lot of pigment for the wings and I just kept everything very light here because I wanted to have very bright colors and I did some details here on its belly and on where the feet are and everything and on the face and on the forehead as well and then I just used a brush without any pigment and just a little bit of water to blend those out a little bit you can see that here so if you feel like your paint is a little bit too dark or too harsh you can always do that at, at least if you make sure that the paint isn't dry yet so then I did the red parts here for the for this wing or whatever that part back there is and also the red tone for the beak here I used my thinner brush again and yeah just looked at the reference picture to get the shape down correctly and yeah did the eyes and added in some more details here some lines for the wings and i basically outlined it but i didn't do full lines more like some little strokes that would kind of indicate where an outline could be added in a tiny bit of blue on its chest or whatever that part is and then I did this branch that it's sitting on I used a lighter orange tone by the way all those colors that I used are just any kinds of colors that I mixed up so you don't have to use the exact colors that I did just use colors that look similar or mix your own colors I mean those are birds and they can look however you want them to look just use all kinds of colors if you decide to make them completely different colors that would look really cute as well and if you decide to paint one or both of those birds make sure to post them on instagram and tag my instagram account at visualmindart I'd love to see your art in general if you follow any of my tutorials I'd love to see your art there just make sure that you tag me in the picture and not just in the description so that I can really see it I love to see your art and what you come up with then when I was done with the branch I erased the lines that were still visible and now we're done with both of those those just took a total of 25 minutes so they're pretty simple i really hope that you liked this video and if you did so please give the thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you next time goodbye